Hello, I'm Keith Pierce of Save Our Towns. As you know, each season we follow a town for a year. This past season, we followed the town of Parisburg. As promised, I'm back to provide you with an update on Parisburg and how Mayor Robert Dickerson fared in his efforts to achieve three main goals. The first was to fill vacant downtown buildings with businesses that would keep people from leaving town to shop. I'm very pleased to say we've had 10 new businesses that have opened up in the town of Parisburg. And that is unheard of around here. I can't tell you how overjoyed I am about that. Those new businesses include Matthews Jewelers, Colonial Flores, Dollar Tree, Dahlia's Delights, Buckland Law Firm, Gearhead Junction, Gina's Primitives, which is an antique shop, Serenity Nail Salon, Imagination Station, which is a daycare, and HBR Tax Services. These are businesses that uh, uh, people want and people need. And, and I think uh, by the Parisburg being like it is, they will support these businesses. They always have, and, and I don't see uh, uh, them failing to do that. We're just happy to have all these new businesses come and be a part of the success that Parisburg is having. Dickerson's second goal was to meet the requirement that the Parisburg farmers market be self-sustaining. We had a $100,000 grant for the first two years. First year went well, uh, considering it was the first year. But this second year, uh, we're hoping that it will get to where we'll have enough funds left over to sustain a third year. Dickerson's third goal was to give tourism a boost with a new restaurant and a new hotel. Last year's shutdown of Appalachian Electric and Power Company's Parisburg plant, which relied on coal, may offer an opportunity. Kevin Bird, executive director of the New River Valley Regional Planning Commission, has worked with the town to tap into funding from a new government initiative called POWER, Partnership for Opportunity and Workforce Economic Revitalization, a fund established for towns economically impacted by the demise of coal mining. Finding this source could be a very good indication of us getting a uh, decent hotel. If we had a hotel that could host uh, the engineers and uh, all the personnel to come in for selling these, right now they're having to go to either Blacksburg or Princeton to host business meetings. But if we had a hotel, we could keep them in, in the town, which produced more revenue for the town. We could capitalize on uh, Virginia Tech games, uh, basketball games, football games, graduation. That would really help uh, the town of Parisburg. Though it's been a moderately successful year, the mayor has high hopes that, as I say, success breeds success. So hopefully more businesses and more, uh, have more people, more tourists. I I'm just so pleased with how far the town has come. For more resources and contact information, go to the Save Our Towns website. You can also share your stories there or email your thoughts to saveourtowns at vt.edu. Thank you again for following the award-winning Save Our Towns. Be sure to join us for the second annual Save Our Towns Summit on September 15, 2016 at the Inn at Virginia Tech and Skelton Conference Center. And be on the lookout for Season 3 coming this fall to find out what exciting towns we will spotlight. Thanks for watching.